Hello Wolf Den, my name is Fulton Elda and welcome back to Aviary Attorney. We are in the Rockwell Mansion, I believe. We are looking around for clues at the scene of the murder of Monsieur Grenoui the frog. Uh, we picked up a cigarette bird last episode. Uh, a cigar was found at the bottom of the fountain in Rockwell's garden. It could only be reached with a little wading. So, Monsieur Rockwell threw his cigarette butt, I'm guessing, inside the fountain over here. Yeah, not sure about that. Either way, we have several statues to examine. So let's take a look at those, see if we can find some details about the murder. Another beautifully made horse statue. You know, my uncle once had a horse that refused to eat hay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. Eventually we realized that it was just filling up on the horse differs. Uh, terrible. Yeah, French, I don't know. I am going to miss quite a few jokes. They will fly right over my head. Most likely. But if you guys get them, then <laughs> all the better to you. Horse statue. This one has a goofy face. Yeah, most statues have it. That reminds me of a joke. A horse walks into a bar, and the barkeep says... Why the long face? Yes, yes, I've heard that one. What? No, the barkeep says... You've got to stop coming here. You're drinking us under the stable. I think it's time to rein in the horse jokes. <laughs> yup, definitely. So what are these then? A finely crafted horse statue. More horses! So many horses! The mane almost looks lifelike. Would you say it behooves you to stroke it? No, 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 I would not. <laughs> the puns. The terrible, terrible puns. So terrible they are good. Baron Rockwell certainly likes his horse statues. Yes. I don't mind the horse statues, but the little cherub people creep me out. Yes. Don't blink. That's all I'll say in regards to statues like those. Baby should be waddling, not attempting sa saddleless horseback riding. Yeah, um, I think that is everything that we can look for here. Over. Yeah, I think that's all. So, I think we're done here. A good call. But are you sure you don't want to take another dip? We still have time. Mm, be careful or I'm gonna throw you in for a dip. Don't push your luck. Yeah, let's go to the lounge. Although I'm not sure if... Baron Rockwell would like wet clothes in the lounge. Uh, is that a giraffe? It looks like a giraffe. Second floor. Third door on the right. This must be the room where the photograph was taken. Psst, hey, Falcon, did you see that? See what? That housemate totally just did something shifty. Shifty? I think she just pocketed something from that drawer. You should, you should totally call her out on it. Yes. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Ah, uh, yes, uh, are you two policemen? No, no, we're private attorneys. My name is JJ Falcon. And I'm Sparrowson. Oh, uh, how rude of me. Uh, my name is Colleen Duard. So, uh, what can I help you messieurs with today? We're investigating the murder that took place last week. Do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? And please answer them honestly. Uh, that's fine. Just let me grab a chair. Yeah, that works better. That's better. What was it you wanted to ask? Um. Yeah. Let's start at the top. Is this where the photograph was taken? I don't want to instantly call her out on stuff and then make her stop asking the... Or answering the right questions. Is this where the photograph was taken? We're looking for the room where the photograph was taken prior to the incident. Would you happen to know whether this is the right room? Oh yes, you're in the right place. I saw the photograph session for myself. Let's see. The cameraman was standing... Um, 
just about where you're standing, actually, Monsieur Falco. And where was the camera pointed? Right at the clock above the mantelpiece. The Baron insisted on using that very location. That sounds awfully suspicious. He wants the clock at the right time. I'm not trusting the Baron. Now that I'm looking at it, something isn't right about that clock. It's running late or it is ahead of time. I know, the painting is on it is totally clash with the decor. I'm talking about the time sparrow set. I was more thinking along more obvious lines. Yeah. Uh. Okay, did not see that one coming. The clock has no hands. Oh, that clock has never had hands in all the years I've worked here. I think Baron Rookwild just keeps it around as a conversation piece. Well, we're conversing about it, so I guess it's working? It's a peculiar detail though. I'll make note of it. Yeah, missing clock hands, definitely. You should definitely repair that. Is there something else you wanted to ask? Yes, is there something we should know about Mrs. Colleen? You were a little nervous when we came in. You thought we were police officers. Is there something we ought to know? Anything you need to confess? No, no. I suppose I'm just a little nervous after the drama of last week. Uh, press her a little bit. Are you sure there isn't anything that you're hiding? It's okay to tell us. We're defense attorneys. That means we help people get away with criminal acts. No, that is not how it works, Sparrow son. <laughs> right, and... Wait, what? No, that's not an accurate job description, Sparrow son. It isn't? Oh, what do we do then? We protect the innocent! I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Monsieurs, I have nothing to hide. Was there something else you wanted to ask? Ah, that is all. I still don't fully trust you, but I'm not gonna say that you're the murderer. That's not it. No further questions. Thank you, Mademoiselle. You've been a huge help. It's no problem, Monsieurs. Uh, actually, there is something. I, I know you two saw me stealing. As you came in. I appreciate that you didn't give me the third degree about it. What were you trying to steal? You see, I'm, I'm trying to save up to follow my dreams and, well, n never mind, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. It's no problem, Madame Marcel. To be honest, we have a much larger crime to worry about. Although, I should probably ask. I don't suppose you've been stealing anything else? Silverware, perhaps? Maybe? <laughs> uh, you know about that? Yeah, I, I suppose it was me. It started with a couple of teaspoons. I didn't think the Baron would miss those. The Baron will miss the cutlery. He may be a lion, but you still will miss the cutlery. Questions are gonna be asked. But, uh, well, yeah. I suppose the habit got a little away from me. A little? That's one mystery solved, at least. Well, Mrs. Silver has been added to your evidence folder. Is it updated? Uh, there it is. Colleen, the housemaid of Chateau Cringier, has confessed to stealing silverware from the household. That is one crime solved. I would appreciate it if you didn't tell the Baron. He's been really kind and I would hate to break his trust. I'm not, not, I'm not gonna make any promises. I might have to tell him at some point. I see. So, where to next, Big Bird? You know... Why do I have a terrible suspicion, together with my voice acting over it, that I'm actually making Sparrowson sound like the little guy, like Faulty? Yes, I've noticed. But I might as well allow it. I mean, it... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> the voice is fitting, I guess. I don't wait. Uh, let's go back to the main hall. Uh, did you messieurs have a good look around? I trust everything was in order. Uh, we had a good look. Thank you, Baron. But we actually have some questions for you. 
please, ask away. I have nothing to hide. Yeah. Uh, about your housemate. Yeah, no. Um, what happened on the night of the murder? Um, Baron Rugwile, I would like to ask about your activities on the night of the murder. <laughs> Am I in trouble? Eh. Uh, nah, not at all. We have no evidence or anything like that, so... Uh, no, no, nothing like that. We're just gathering the full picture. I see. Well, let me think. Uh, the guests arrived at 5 o'clock and we all sat down for dinner in this very hallway at 6. That part went magnificently. The photographer arrived at 7 o'clock, but it wasn't until... 7.30 that we had our picture taken. My housemate discovered the crime scene soon after that. I see. Is there something else I can help you messieurs with? Um, do we have any evidence in this regard? I don't know. There is nothing else about time. Hmm. Okay, I currently don't have anything else. Um, I don't know if I should ask about the housemaid. Maybe I should. I don't know whether or not this option is going to bring her into trouble. Like, this could also continue to several other questions. I don't know. I am... Can I... I think I'm gonna save and quit. And quickly return. See if that works. Continue. I don't know. Uh. Oh dear. Did I make a mistake? I think I made a mistake. I might have made a mistake. Well then. Back to the chateau. So, uh, we're back. Took me a little bit. That's a little bit of the downside of the game. You can't save and quit and return back. You start off at the last save point, which is not here in this case. So, uh, I redid everything exactly the way I did it before. This might be a mistake, but I'm gonna ask the question. I don't know if we can back out of this, but we'll figure it out. I mean, we have to learn it somehow, so yeah. Uh, we met your housemate, Clan Duhort. She's a courteous young lady, isn't she? Uh, yeah, she was quite helpful. Okay, good, we do have options. I'm not gonna say she's a thief, no. Yeah, she was quite helpful. She was more than willing to help us with our investigation. I'm glad to hear it. Did you two want to ask something else? Now nah, we'll be leaving for now. I think that will be all, Baron. Thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure. Have a delightful day, messieurs. Yeah, I'm still not trusting the big guy. Did you get all the information you needed, Falcon? I hope so. Uh, don't worry. If everything goes wrong in trial, we could always just... pack up and move away as far away as possible. Wing it! Yep, definitely. Terrible. Just terrible. Let's head back to the office and get some rest. Yeah. So, January the 5th. Wednesday. Hmm. So, that means oh, we can go back to Chateau Crignier, but... Studio de Robinho. That's the next stop. Our photographer. Hopefully he can help us out. I don't... I don't trust the big lion. I don't trust him. So, this is the studio of the famous photographer. Shall we knock? Wait, there's a note on the door. Yeah, I see it. Ahem, <clears throat> the magnificent and marvelous artist, Monsieur Robitio de Robinho, is currently out on an artistic expedition. He shall return when his muse sees fit. Well, ain't that peachy. When his muse sees fit? What does that even mean? I think it means that he's a pretentious bird brain. But in any case, the artist seems to be out. What shall we do now? Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, we should knock anyway. Maybe someone is home. Maybe. Alright. Uh, I don't see the harm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Hello? Food service? Room service? Muse service? Nope. Doesn't look like he's in Falcon. We should not break in. Maybe we should. That's a terrible thing to do, though. I mean, that is illegal. We have no right to break in. Uh, I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what repercussions something like that has. Uh, I think we should go... Don't think that's the right choice, but uh, there's nothing else to do. Let's make a move. Uh, I hate the feeling of a wasted trip. Is there really nothing we can do? Uh, I suppose we could break in, but... Uh, I don't know. It's fairly unbeckoning of a lawyer, but I suppose we could try to break in. What? Are you serious? No. Maybe. <laughs> Monsieur J.J. Falcon, I would have thought that a man of justice like yourself would be against such a reckless display of unlawful barbarism. You're right, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over. It's a brilliant suggestion! Stand back! I'm barging the door open. Okay, by all means. If anyone asks who did it, I'll blame you. Oh, God. Wait, just like that? Shouldn't we discuss this first? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What in Bert's Jesus name was that? Bert Jesus? What? You said you wanted to break in? I thought we could find an open window. I didn't think it would turn into a bird sized cannonball. Well, now we're here, we ought to make the most of it. This place is quite something. It's very. Hmm. Swanky? I was going to say ostentatious. That's just swanky talk for swanky. What does swanky even mean? <laughs> we don't have time for this. The sound of a door being smashed in could be drawing unwanted attention. We should find anything that may help our case and get out. Yeah, um... Oh, lots of paintings. Okay, quickly find nothing in the fireplace? Closet. Maybe? Hey, Falcon, look! What? It's just an easel. Is that an easel? Uh, no, no. Look at what's on the easel. Ooh. Oh, the painting. A copy of the photograph from the evening of the murder. Aha. Uh -huh. Where's the lion? Where's Mr. Lion? There's no question about it. I see a housemaid, Dame Cataline, and I think that's Seigneur Pertois, Cataline's father. So, what shall we do? Do we just take this? Uh. It is evidence, but. This might be very important. We've come this far. We may as well borrow it. Studio photographs has been added to your evidence folder. Is there anything else we need to do here? Look at the pictures. A picture of a sailing ship on a windy day. Curious. Uh, this is a picture of a fence. It's a fancy photograph. <laughs> it leaves a viewer defenseless. Out of all the pictures here, I would pick it as my favorite. Ah, the puns. <laughs> oh, so terrible, yet glorious puns. Okay, I'm done. No more fence puns. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Okay, um... This is a tiny photograph of what appears to be a jail cell. That reminds me. How illegal is this? Y you know, breaking and entering, rifling through a person's belongings? Very illegal. Um... It's cool, we're lawyers. It's a little illegal. <laughs> well, 
is illegal, yes. But we're trying to solve a murder case, so it's forgivable. We hope. Oh, 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 so you're saying that a small act of evil is justifiable if it results in a greater good? Uh, don't put words in my beak. Please don't do that. Oh dear, okay. Uh, a lighthouse? No, wait. It's a man in a top hat. Actually, if I squint and turn my head sideways, it's a black smudge falcon. <laughs> Glorious black smudges. Um, a butterfly, or maybe a moth. It's difficult to tell on black and white. <laughs> yes, very difficult. Ooh, chandelier. Hi. A chandelier. You should get one of those from the office. I have 19 francs. We don't have the money for that, Sparrowson. I don't have the money for that sort of luxury. That's what I mean. Um, did we look at this one? Uh, it's a photograph of a castle somewhere in the countryside. You know, I once had an uncle who once fell off a castle rampart while on guard duty. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did he die? No, he got demoted. Wow, Sparrowson. Wow. Uh, terrible. Yes! <laughs> okay, more paintings, more puns! A beautiful picture of the Paris skyline. Given the angle, this must have been taken from Notre Dame Cathedral itself. Pretty. Uh, this appears to be a photograph of a ladder. Symbolic of climbing towards success, perhaps? It looks more like a stepladder to me. Small steps? Oh no, we're not getting into that old argument. Is it a ladder or a stepladder? Oh, bloody hell. Uh, um, one more painting. I see a finely dressed dandy fellow upon a horse. Cool. So, one more painting, then the closet. I see a bourgeoisie tigress in profile. Cool. So what's in here in that case? I see paints, inks and dyes. I'm not quite sure what the clear liquid in this bottle is. I could taste test it. Maybe you shouldn't. You could, but we don't have time for a hospital visit right now, so let's not. Yeah, I think that be all. I think. Yeah, looks like it is it. I think we're done snooping. Let's get out of here before we draw any further attention to ourselves. Yeah, sounds good to me. I really hope that is not going to bite us in the butt. Yeah, Sparrowson, well said. Oh, uh, oh, mon dieu, uh, what happened to my door? Um, uh, we can explain? Uh, lie? What is the lie? Uh, this was a bad idea. Very bad idea. I think I'm gonna lie. But on the other hand, I do not think that he is the murderer, nor is he helping, so uh, honesty takes the longest, the truth is gonna surface at some point. I'm sorry we broke down your door. Well, Monsieur Robinho, it's like this. You see, we're attorneys who have been hired for the purpose of- Raven! A raven did it! We saw the whole thing! That's a ray fist. No? I apologize. What are you doing, Sparrowson? I've got this. I'm not going to jail because your conscience is acting up. Nobody's going to jail. Just take it easy. Uh, damn ravens. They're always after our shiny objects, am I right? Yeah, th that's right. Let's make a move. Trial day is approaching fast. Right, let's go. Yeah. A new day. Thursday. And it's time to go to trial. This is gonna be bad for us, I believe. Uh, I think we did everything else. I'm gonna back and go back to the aviary turn to see if anything changes. Most likely not. 
Falcon, it's a trial day. Stop messing around. We need to head to the courthouse already. I was just... No, we're going to be late. <laughs> but procrastination, or however you pronounce it. Doing nothing, just being lazy. It's perfect. Anyway, Palais de Justice. Sounds like a good place to go. Falcon and Sparrow stand inside the marble portico of the Palace de Justice, awaiting the opening of the tribunal of the Grand Instance. Yeah, I... Are you nervous, Falcon? Yeah, kinda. Yes. Of course I'm nervous. We're woefully underprepared for this case. Two days. We only had two days to prepare. How are we expected to get anything done in that time frame? Uh, calm your feathers, Falcon. We can do this. I hope we can do this. Uh, Monsieur Falcon, Petit Sparrowson. Is there anything you need me to do? No, no. We got a handle on things. Uh, Falcon was just telling me how confident he was feeling about the case. That is wonderful. I just know you two will pull through. Let's move along, fellas. Uh, uh, I'll be watching from inside. Uh, do your best for me, Monsieur Falcon. We will. I hope we will. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. I hope we're ready. Judge Maxime. All right, settle down, everyone, settle down. Is everyone here? J.J. Falcon, present. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, um, uh, Rupert Rabington, present. The ready is prosecution, Your Honor. Great, we got a rookie against us. Uh, oh, uh, darn, that, 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 that's not it. Oh, uh, gosh, where are my notes? <laughs> I, I knew it. Knew what? Uh, Rupert and I went to Paris Law School together. He was in all of my classes. Oh, was he smart? <laughs> no, he always scored the second worst marks in the class. Let me guess, you were the worst? I can only assume that he bumbled through the final exams on the luck of his two rabbit's feet. Yeah, it's kind of an unfair advantage, isn't it? Unless he's improved considerably, you might already have this trial in the bag. That is good to know. Don't say Sparrowson. If Rupert scored the second lowest marks in class, then who scored the lowest? Eh, I, I choose to exercise my right to not self-incriminate. Ah, ah, here it is. Ahem, the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Are the jury all present? All present and accounted for, Your Honor. Hey, Falcon. I thought there were only six members of the jury for the cases like this. Why do I count eight? Oh, those two birds with the funny hats are uh, assessors, the associate judges. So, uh, birdie, 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 birdie with funny hats, assessors. I have no idea what that means. Everything seems to be in order, so let us begin. The court is now in session for the trial of Dame Catherine de Mao. Uh, prosecution, please call your first witness to the stand. Oh, uh, g gosh, uh, are we there already? Okay, uh, I just call the officer in charge of the murder investigation, Inspector Folerti, to the witness stand. Inspector Folerti, please approach to the stand and recite the oath. As you will, my honor. I swear to speak hatred and without fear. Uh, I swear to speak without hatred and without fear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Um, monsieur, uh, no, uh, Inspector, please state your uh, name and occupation for the record. My name is Inspector Just Folerti. I am a servant of the law, a scourge of the gutter rats that plague this city. I have enforced the law for over 20 years, and I shall continue until I bring the infamous Viridian Killer to justice. My path begins 18 years ago. Let's stick to the questions, Inspector. 
Of course, Your Honor. Oh, great. I was hoping we could have one of those bumbling, cuddly officers, but instead we're stuck with the lawful goody two-shoes. I bet this guy would turn in his own mother if he saw her littering. Yeah, but that is a crime. So, um, is it, Inspector, is it true that you are the lead investigator on this case? That is correct. I was also among the first to arrive at the scene of the crime. Then perhaps you can walk us through what you witnessed upon arrival? Absolutely. Just after 7.30, we were alerted and brought to the scene by the housemaid of Baron Rourkweil. At the scene of the crime, we found Dame Catherine de Miao. I should pronounce it as de Miao. Yeah. She was standing over the corpse of Monsieur Grenouille with his blood on her paws. Well, that sounds like an open and shut case in my humble opinion. Uh, no, uh, no more questions, Your Honor. Uh, b bloody paws? Nobody told me that detail. Give it together, Falcon. You're about to be given the opportunity to cross-examine the witness. That's your opportunity to find flaws in the inspector's testimony. Of course, I know this. I've done that many times before. You may now begin your cross-examination, Monsieur Falcon. Well, cross-examination, let's go press all the questions. Cross-examine the witness to find flaws in his testimony. Select a key phrase that you find suspicious and Falcon will press the witness for more information. Ask the right questions to bring the truth to the light. Yes. But... I see we are reaching the end of our time for today's episode, so I'm going to end it over here. And next time, we will continue with the cross-examination. So anyway, that is all for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Have a very nice day, and remember, have fun. No matter what the witnesses will say, we will poke a hole into their testimony. And then we slam the desk and shout, OBJECTION! Well, maybe, but I don't want to get in legal trouble with Phoenix Wright.